Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person. After all these months of the pandemic, it could be a key to regaining normalcy, a high-tech way to prove you've been vaccinated. New questions about whether you will soon need to prove you've been vaccinated before heading to work, school, or vacation. Proof of a vaccine. Proving you've been vaccinated will be fine. You don't have a choice. People act like you have a choice. For the world at large, normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. The entire global population. Uh, and, you know, nobody would have predicted that I and Dr. Fauci would be so prominent in, you know, really kind of evil theories about, you know, did we create the pandemic? Are we trying to profit from it? And on and on. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm very surprised by that. I hope it goes away. I hope it doesn't hold back, you know, mask wearing or seeking out vaccines. The percentage that's really misled by these conspiracy theories, it's unclear to me. There's millions of messages out there, you know, where my name or Dr. Fauci's name is used, but do people really believe that stuff? I'm, you know, we're gonna have to get educated about this over the next year and understand, you know, what, how does it change people's behavior? How should we have minimized this, either, you know, working with the social media companies or explaining what we were up to in a better way? Absolutely. Uh, you know, from the foundation's point of view, the fact that he took that rescission of the global vaccine money, which, uh, you know, is super, super important. The fact he rejoined the WHO, the fact that he's appointed smart people, the fact that Dr. Fauci uh, will, will not be uh, suppressed. Uh, and they'll take full advantage of Francis Collins and, and Dr. Fauci, who are wonderful people. Uh, you know, in terms of the epidemic, it sometimes felt like they were the only sane people in the U.S. government. So uh, this phase, even though, you know, it's a huge challenge, you know, now we have people who are allowed to you know, share the truth and you know, we can draw on the depth of CDC capabilities. Yes, every politician is under pressure to go bid for their country, you know, to get, you know, further up in line because the value of these vaccines, even in the case, uh, you know, when it's not the Gobby price, the value far exceeds the price uh, in terms of countries getting back to normal. Well, in the rich world countries, will largely be out of it um, if we can get our vaccination levels up to 70 to 80 percent, which with good leadership, good communication, uh, you know, these vaccines appear to have very few side effects. And so uh, the benefit to society, uh, everyone or a high percentage of people participating, uh, you know, should be very clear, although, you know, all the crazy conspiracy theories may cut into that. But yes, I'm optimistic that the rich world uh, this year will return largely to normal. There may be some mask wearing and big public events may not be completely wide open, but uh, particularly if we help the developing countries not be a source of reinfection, uh, you know, we were seeing the beginning of the end here. You know, as you get up to those five, then you see, you know, at least uh, as you get into 2022, we are going to have enough vaccines to vaccinate the entire world. Now, where various people are in line, you know, how much the rich countries, you know, take all the early doses, that's still being debated. So, you know, the total number of doses that uh, Gavi has in the first half of the year is still very modest. Yes, they will get some doses out. But, you know, if you compare when they will reach the same percentage of coverage as the rich countries do, that's where I say it's six to eight months best case.